guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Justenia and I do different style of videos ranging between lifestyle, motherhood, travel, health and wellness, all different types of videos. Today's video is going to be part of kind of like the PCS series, but as well where I've been. So let's like recap. I haven't posted videos until like recently, right? Like in the past two months or about a year. I haven't been on YouTube for a year. That's a really long time. What has happened between that point? I had a baby. I have a son named Leo and he is one years old. He's 16 months, almost a year and a half. Yeah, that took up like a lot of my time as a mother, as a stay-at-home mom. I'm a stay-at-home mom, but also in between those times, I was also working. I have a crystal shop and I also have my yoga teacher training and I have different services. I'm a massage therapist. I went to school for acupuncture. I'm currently studying for my board exams for that. I'll talk about that in a little bit. I do energy work. I did for a time frame up until like two months ago, was working while I had Leo. Started working, I think when he was around six months, I got a babysitter to watch him in the house and I had a home-based business here in Japan. Currently, I'm in Japan and I live on the military base here, Misawa Military Base, Air Force Base, and um, had a home-based business. And my business was actually in this room that we're in now, which is completely empty because we're PCSing. Okay, that is two reasons I've had a baby and I kind of just got out of the YouTube rhythm. It was just, you know, I wanted to put my 100% towards Leo, at least for like the first year of him being here. I fell out of the routine of doing videos, so it's taken me some time to get in. But I filmed a lot of videos. I filmed a lot. I just didn't have really a set routine and schedule to edit them and post them. But that's why you see like a big amount of videos. I have about 20 videos posted, but also my grandfather passed away March of this year so that grieving i'm still grieving here like on and off and i think about my grandpa like all the time that was really really hard to deal with um living here for three years the past two years my grandfather has been sick so i went home in 2020 right before leo was born it might have been 21 was it 21 I don't even remember. Anyway, it was right before, no, it was after after COVID. I think it was in 2021. I don't remember. Who cares about the date? That's the last time I saw my grandfather and like I couldn't even hug him at that time. Really these past two years, just in general, with my grandfather being sick and me being miles, miles away, has been really, really hard. And then he passed away in March and I went home on an emergency leave with Leo. It was just so sad and I like literally was on the plane as he passed away. I'm still like holding on to that and like I just missed saying goodbye to my grandfather it's just not not an easy thing when you live over it's not an easy thing in general but it's, it's not an easy thing when you live overseas on a, and you're in the military and COVID and like all these restrictions and I know a lot of people experience the same thing there was just a lot of also life challenges in my life in general just being a stay-at-home mom is a lot and then I was working so I didn't really have time to like edit and stuff but now I got myself back into it where PCS and I'm not really working so I have time to like upload and stuff so I hope you guys are enjoying the content that I've been putting out stay tuned because I will have all content coming your way I'm super excited if you're new to this channel I'm obsessed with the fall I love romanticizing about the autumn fall whatever word you choose to say and i love doing autumnal things and i love all the autumn fall vibes i even have done youtuber in the past it's on my other channel but i also have i believe i have all videos on this channel too so we're gonna dive into that as well okay so that's kind of like a recap of where i've been in the past year now let's update you military wise we are due to move in uh, about a month and 27 days so pretty much uh two months and we are going to whiteman missouri that's where we're going <gasps> Woo! we've never lived in the midwest and there's a whole like story about the overseas listing so we get the overseas listing first and then we get the stateside listing on our overseas listing we had korea we had hawaii and we had 
Germany. Now, I initially did not want to go overseas because I really miss my family. I miss being close. I miss the States, especially with uh, being here for three years and COVID being the majority of that. Like we only just got to like really experience a piece of Japan this year. And, and so we're leaving and I'm just really disappointed at all the experiences that we missed because of the pandemic and we missed out on a lot really it was really isolating and it was just really for me i was really miserable until i had leo even having leo like i like still like it was just it's just not easy and both my husband and i like we lost so much of experience of japan japan is such a beautiful place but when you're living on base and doing the day-to-day -day things like i don't even feel i live in japan sometimes it, it was just not easy to live here in the regards of that but i will say that it was really safe to be here we saw like all this stuff all the, the riots all this crazy stuff happening in the states and here was so calm so i definitely believe everything happens for a reason but i'm human and i'm just disappointed that we missed so much opportunities and experience to explore japan but we did get to see a fair amount of where some people don't even go to explore japan Pan. I'm trying to keep this in like categories. Okay, so I said that we're moving to Whiteman, Missouri. Woo! I'll insert some clips of where we're moving and like me creating a box for Leo. I posted it on Instagram. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, that's where you could keep up with me uh, frequently, sometimes even daily at Jasenia Poisson. That's my Instagram. Water and goes there, so we have to talk about it, okay? But they don't break it. I, I, mean, so I know a lot of stuff. We all agree we're gonna put them up behind us and just move on, okay? So let's take a step back and uh Leo's in his tent that we got yesterday. Ready? So let's go back backtrack to the overseas listing the hawaii listing we were so excited we really thought we were moving to hawaii there was a whole thing behind it it wound up not even being real it was not a real assignment and we thought like there was like a new position that Devin could possibly get it was this whole thing we wound up not getting it we wound up not getting it because it wasn't even real this whole thing we wound up getting the state sides and it was out of three places and it was canon which is in not canon yeah canon which is in new mexico we did not want that it's not the safest base and i just don't want to live in new mexico i lived in arizona so i know the desert heat we also got whiteman missouri which that's where we're moving to and we got it was texas dias texas so i was hoping for dias texas because i like sun and at least we got like dry heat i do better in the dry heat and my skin does better in the dry heat but we got white in missouri so it took a little time to process but now we're semi excited i'm excited to go back to the states and i'm only three hours away from almost all my family members like in new york florida and arizona so that's super exciting that it's such an easy flight visit and my best friend is gonna be four hours drive away. She's gonna be, she's in Springfield, Illinois. So she's like my neighbor-ish. That's super exciting. She'll be able to come visit me and hopefully I can go visit her as well. Whiteman, Missouri, never lived from the Midwest. Me and my husband are both from New York, both East Coast people. So we'll see the worries and fears I have about living in Missouri, where we're going like Whiteman, Missouri is that it is a small town again and this is a very like small base one of the smallest bases from what I know I'm just a little nervous about that but I have hope and excitement to make new friends and explore Missouri and whatnot okay so we are we were supposed to leave October 21st that's when our Dero's date was they had no spots left for our animals we have two pets a cat and a dog with that being said we got pushed back to november 15th so we're not gonna arrive to the states till around november 16th 17th <gasps> pcsing is so stressful and it's so so much that is involved now i didn't know about soft orders which is once you find out where you're living you can sign up your pet supposedly because somebody else said they did that and it didn't work it's like in the military things change constantly <laughs> if you get your orders or i mean if you find out where you're living get your spots right away uh this base has been having a lot of issues with that with people leaving on time all that stuff so we're leaving 
about a month later. Oh, I'm super anxious, like, because I just want to leave already and start our new life. Although that's like, this is the same life, but to be back in the States, you get what I mean. I'm super grateful where we're at, but I'm ready to move on, especially since we don't have our stuff. So that's the update on the military. We PCS'd, all our stuff is gone. I have a PCSing I have a video on that for you guys with the movers coming. I give you PCS tips. I'm doing like a PCS series for you guys. It's not like a big series. Maybe some things will be helpful for you or not. I don't know. Every base is different. And this is just our experience, but I will be posting that as well. So stay tuned and I'll put a PCS series album as well on the YouTube channel. So if you are interested in that, but we had our household goods picked up September 8th. Today is September 19th here in Japan we're a day ahead so right now it's September 18th in the States Sunday it's already Monday you get what I'm saying right <laughs> is that a little confusing we got our household goods everything's out of our house we have our FMO furniture I update all that in the video and our unaccompanied comes at the end of this month September 30th I am currently studying for boards. I'm studying for my three acupuncture exams, board exam, for my acupuncture license. So I have my acupuncture degree. I finished school before we came to Japan, but I don't have my license. Originally, when we first got here in Japan, I started studying for my boards to take them. COVID happened, the pandemic happened, so I couldn't go anywhere to go take my board exam. So I stopped studying. And that's why we have Leo. We planned for Leo. And I said, I'm only getting older. And I knew the pandemic was going to take a few years to, you know, like ease up and stuff. I knew it was going to be a while. So I was like, I want to have a kid now. Like, let's do this now. So now I'll fast forward to now. I'm starting to study for my boards again. I have three board exams, foundations. Uh, I have points, like acupuncture points. And then biomedicine. So I have to take three of those. And I have to take them within six months. So in February, I have to take it before my application expires, which that alone is like annoying and stressful, but yeah, I'm studying and moving at the same time, which is so much, but it's what I have to do. I'm super excited to finally have my license. Like that's a huge disappointment for me for the past three years is not having my license. Oh, the, my pride and all that hard work of three years of school and not having my license. Like I was really hoping I could do acupuncture here as a home-based business and really help a lot of people. I did with massage, but it's just not the same. It's a different modality. So I'm super excited for that and stressed at the same time with that. Last thing I'm gonna talk about is we bought a house. We bought a house and we're so excited. We bought a house in Sedalia, Missouri, which seems to be a really nice town. It's a four bedroom, four bath house, and we're super excited. I'm so excited. I'm not gonna be doing like house tours or anything like I've done in the past here and in Japan because I've lived in apartments in the past, like in a complex, gated community, and here it's so safe to live here and I live on a base. But with the other new house tour, you'll see like when I'm filming, like me inside the house, but I'm not gonna give a full tour. Like I'm not gonna show you the front of the house and stuff just for safety reasons for me and my family, especially because I have a son, just for safety reasons. But I will show you guys a little bit of it. And we're super excited for the house tour. I mean, we're so excited to move in the house. We'll have a house by the time we get there. That alone is so crazy how that goes. I didn't want to stress about moving to a house and I just intuitively looked on Zillow one day and found the house. I was super excited because I was looking at the houses and I didn't really like any of them, but this one had such a good feeling and there was three other offers. We outbid someone that even had cash. We got the house and we got a brand new roof on the house because there was like a leak and we weren't gonna buy it if they didn't fix the roof, the sellers. So we just got a brand new roof and and there doesn't there's not a lot of things that needs to be fixed so that's super exciting but we have a lot of projects that we want to do with the house and I'm excited for spring and summer to have my own full garden and not a balcony garden anymore and to do like foraging stuff and, and I want to try to do canning like foods and dehydrating foods so keep up with my YouTube if you want to see how that goes uh, we have so much projects and I'm super excited the only thing I'm like annoyed about is fall is my biggest season so I don't get to have my fall decorations up I'm really hoping that we get our household goods by the time we get to December because it'll be Christmas but there's been told that people's stuff has been taking more than the exceeded amount of time 
we'll see. I'm trying to put it out there that it comes December 1st, the household goods. We will be celebrating Christmas in our new home, but we'll be spending Halloween here. So I'm kind of disappointed that I'm spending another fall season here because I love the fall, but we're still gonna romanticize about it. We're still gonna do it up, so don't worry. We're in a house, we're PCSing, I'm studying for boards. There's just so much change. And I hope you guys follow the journey and I'm gonna end the vlog here because that's pretty much all I had to do to update with you. But if you have any questions, please leave it down in the comments down below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. I don't have all the answers, I don't know everything and just know this is my experience and every base is different. Also with buying also with buying a house, we chose to buy a house because we were on the list for a house in Whiteman and they were gonna give us a two bedroom, a thousand square feet house, which is pretty much what we're in now. And we were just like, no, like we have way too much stuff. We need a house. Like I have a business stuff, like we have so much big things. We're like, we're done. We need to live in a house. After six years of me and my husband being together, we're finally moving in a house. Not that the time matters. We're just so, so excited and grateful that we're gonna have a house in Missouri. I'm just excited for this new journey and to just really ch um, take it on in a different way versus how I took it on here. <gasps> okay, I'm done rambling. If you like this video, hit the like button down below and subscribe to my channel to keep up with me weekly and I'll see you guys soon.